So I just wanted to show you here, Chet at, uh, with a dog at a fence line, and this dog happened to be in this yard running back and forth, and so I led Chet up to the fence line just to illustrate a point that even, uh, this is a nice dog that's not barking at him. He was barking a minute ago, but he stopped barking, and uh, Chet is nice as long as that other dog is nice. Come. I'm calling Chet back to me. So you're not going to purposely go up to fence lines like that. Uh, because you never know it, whether it's going to work or not. You never know if that dog is nice or not. Um, and if they start barking and Chet has a problem with them, well now you've allowed Chet to be in a bad situation. But I just wanted to show you in case you don't see a dog and you're at a fence line and, and the dog comes up, Chet's not going to go nuts. And of course you see throughout this video the leash is loose. I'm never holding on like this. I'm never restraining him like that because that tension on the leash will create bad behavior in Chet because it creates stress in the dog, so you keep it loose. If you want him to come to you or come away from something, you say, come, and you move away from whatever that is and you get him out of there. You don't want to hold on and force him or pull him away because that can cause stress and aggression. It's the main cause for leash aggression is tension on the leash. So here he is at a fence line with a dog. You want to show that dog right there? and he doesn't care. And you can always practice calling Chet away. See, he's choosing to look at me with the dog right here. Good, good, and I'm gonna give this sweet dog a treat as well. Good, so Chet's doing pretty well now. Okay, let's go.